and welcome back to the channel guys yes indeed we are in the fort lauderdale area on craigslist and we are looking for cars and trucks trucks and cars for between the price of 300 and 1500 dollars okay now let's uh, jump right in and see what we find today we're looking for some interesting vehicles all right so here we have let's start out let me see here all right here we have a 1997 mercury sable gs for 1500 dollars okay first right off the bat i can tell you 1500 dollars is too much for the scar the scar is it's a 1997 they weren't particularly great let's see here there's only one pic let's look at a big picture and there's only one big picture um selling due to health reasons asking 15 our best offer um 75 000 miles it's possible i mean i've seen you know cars barely driven but uh these uh mercury sables like all sables are based on the taurus and they shared uh, a lot of parts also with the um windstar uh freestar and um what was the name of that one again um oh the lincoln continental all right so let's uh see here would i buy it it's a little too expensive all right now wait a minute toyota tacoma i won't even waste my time no way for fourteen hundred dollars impossible all right here is a 2002 uh honda crv for one thousand two hundred dollars all right let's look at a big picture okay right away this is the hmm, the second generation uh um crv very nice vehicles um not too much goes wrong with them um they're pretty solid these engines are you know the k20 engines really nice stuff needs work it they say uh 2200 crv for sale uh clean tight needs work uh several so what's going on here now um vtex solenoid replaced engine cover gas replaced with that ac does not work but i have a condenser and compressor ready to be installed la 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 oh, oh well well yeah probably just what we have here is somebody who had this vehicle and it was kind of neglected over the years with oil changes or stuff like that and you know because hondas are good vehicles but you know they're not as you know readily um willing to accept abuse or neglect like a toyota will you know that's just a straight up fact all right let's see here mechanic special 11 money dollars looks like a chevrolet tahoe let's look at the big picture all right is she a tahoe yes indeed she is could have been a gmc as well but all right let's see here <clears throat> i like these i've actually driven one of these few years ago and i was i was you know i was pretty impressed um it didn't behave the way i thought it would it wasn't as truck like as i thought it would be because these things are behem behemoths you know we you know we're talking about huge um but yeah it was a nice vehicle i liked it um 2006 chevy tahoe one of the last 10 years needs work doesn't say what kind of work i can only imagine um these things you know how to and and um you know v8 engines that, which are pretty reliable like most chevy v8s are or gm v8s as the case may be hmm. because looking a little, little expensive today guys i wonder if it's because it's tax time all right let's see your 95 buick Sabre. i always like these cars very very reliable uh, most of them come with that gm family uh to uh 3800 v6 pushrod uh, 3.8 liter v6 engine the most reliable v6 engine gm ever made let's look at the big picture you know this is a symbol of americana if there ever was one look at that white wall tires gentlemen and ladies white wall tires okay now these things can run quite some time the transmission i believe if my memory serves me correctly would have been a hydromatic um um based on the old uh th125c transmission that was a three-speed actually but um 
I think um, these would have not had a TH uh, transmission. It would have been the, um, what was it again? Um, 4T, 4T L60, something of like that nature. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put the, the correct uh, annotation in the, uh, on the screen here somewhere when I, when I do my, um, my editing yeah but these transmissions were designed I mean they they were great in that they were not like regular transverse transmissions where all of the transmission was to the end of the engine you know which put the the, uh, the engine over itself the weight of the engine over to one side and also caused the the the, the prop shafts to be un of unequal length which means that if you had a lot of power coming out of the transmission um, you would actually get torque steer, but but the 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 th the the th one twenty five c's or the 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 um the forties um, that they were later called they had it they had a, the transmission behind the engine so the engine was more or less centered in the middle of the car, and they had equal length prop shafts and how that worked is that um, after the uh, the engine you had a flex plate and then you had the uh, you had a chain driven, it was chain driven um, to behind the transmission, to behind the engine and the transmission came, you know, came out the other side. So brilliant, brilliant design and they were pretty much bulletproof. You know, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yep, here we have the 3800 um, V6 right there. Beautiful engine. All right, so look at the interior here, guys. Leather seats here. I, I didn't notice any cracking whatsoever. You know, this is the real deal, guys. Um, wood in the wooden interior we can bet our bottom dollar that it is not real wood but that's fine um, it is what it is you know they had this 70s style um, uh, speedometer here um, yeah it's an honest car clean title car runs great 93 original miles thousand miles I suppose yes very reliable they don't make cars like this anymore no they do not fifteen hundred dollars it's a little pricey but it's low mileage um, I, would, I, would, I would do it I would do it you know these cars are really 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 ahead of the time all right let's keep scrolling 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 all right here is let's look at this here 1999 Cadillac DeVille for fifteen hundred dollars let's look at it now this guys let's have a look at the big picture this one is up in Palm Bay all right, I've been up there. Palm Bay is a beautiful place. Our buddy lives up there. You know, bless up yourself, Chucky. Okay, um, this is an immaculate, immaculate model. Now, guys, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, this is the Cadillac Pearl White. This is one of the most beautiful pearl uh, finishes ever. I'm telling you guys. Now, the only thing that can ruin this car. Is if it has a North Star V8. Oh my god. If it has a North Star V8, it is, you know, a ticking time bomb. Because those engines, they have these, you know, they have several issues and, you know, they're prone to failure after age. There are kits to, uh, to, to, to fix them. Um, if I recall correctly, they have cylinder head gasket problems. Um, there are kits available. Um, out there, but it takes a skill hand and if you're not if you're paying somebody to do it It's gonna cost quite a bit of money. All right, so uh, Body and interior are in great condition true ABS and traction control do not work eh, that <coughs> ABS and traction control not working you can bet that it's a sensor easy fix easy fix and uh, Yeah, AC might need some work eh. There's going to be a lot of a, a working room here, guaranteed. So maybe that's not such a big deal. Um, the car runs dry, fine, but the battery is currently dead due to the alternator. Also, we've got more than that work uh, going on for us. Hmm, interesting. All right, $1,500 too expensive for what's going on. I'd probably offer them $1,000 and call it a day. All right, so mm -hmm. let's keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. Something interesting, guys. <clears throat> oh, look at this. 1992 Chrysler LeBaron for $900. Oh my life. Let's have a look at the big picture. All right. LeBaron. Is it one of the good LeBarons with the. the you know, the, 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 the 
Oh my life. It's not one of the good ones. Look at the headlights here, guys. This is the later models. I prefer the ones with, with, with the, the rollover headlights, you know? Those were, were cool. Yeah, this is, this is the last generation of the LeBaron. I mean, once upon a time, this was, this was, was the epitome of rent a car. You know, everybody who rented these things, who rented convertibles. Yep, it was a LeBaron. They were cheap like dirt. All right. Um, yeah, so these cars, um, at one point, they were available at most of four-cylinder engines. And, you know, they, they had some V6 engines at, at one point. Um, not sure which one this is. Let's see here. Runs good AC, runs cold, 50,000 miles. Why do I doubt that? Tinted windows and seat covers. Transmission brakes work fully. New Bluetooth radio and speakers. Nano does. Uh huh. Hmm. It's kind of quaint. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite LeBaron. Uh, if there is such a thing as anybody having a favorite LeBaron. But um, I prefer the older ones. Uh, $900. I don't know. You'd have to really like the car. I think. I don't think I like them enough to pay $900 for this one. Okay, that's all I'm saying. This one. Whoa, guys. 1995 Toyota Camry LS and it is a wagon. Let's have a look at big picture. Now, guys, you know I love wagons. I love these Japanese wagons down. This number here, one of the things I like with the camera wagon, this model is had two wipers at the back. Yeah, two wipers. This thing was like it was huge. It had lots of space in it. I, I like these. I, I really, really did. I've always liked camera wagons. You know, always liked camera wagons. They were really, 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 really awesome vehicles. Um, but you know, they, they stopped making them. Everybody stopped stopped making um wagons now and I don't know, I think they're, they're going to come back in vogue. I think wagons are going to come back. But yeah, this is your standard uh, Camry. N you know, nothing to say here, except that $1,500. So what I just saw is too much. All right, Toyota Camry LS, uh, 182,000 miles, cold AC, $1,500, La Belle. Yeah, it, it's too much. It's it's not clean. I don't know, I tried to knock something off. You know, I doubt it's a V6 either. So, yeah. So, all right, let me see if I can get one more in, guys. Something interesting let me find something interesting interesting we might have to go back up hello 1985 mercedes 300d this is a diesel guys let's look, look at a big picture all right now the 300d has a three liter five cylinder uh diesel um i'm not sure this is a turbo diesel but this one seems to have been sitting for quite some time um let's see now uh, these things you guys to be honest these things last forever this was when mercedes was, was mercedes this is when 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 you bought a mercedes you bought a vehicle for life these things are solid you know the diesels in particular if you notice most of these cars it's a diesel that you find you probably not gonna find too many gasolines because the diesels were just that good Okay, 1985 Mercedes 300D with a five-cylinder turbo diesel. Excellent. I, I was right with a five-cylinder, and it is, in fact, a turbo diesel. Runs drives, but needs plenty of work. Hmm. It's a solid project. Headline is surprisingly in great shape. No, not surprisingly. These were actually well made, but carpet and seats will need to be placed. Car hasn't actually been driven in years, but drove itself on and off the trailer when I bought it. Not in our cell, but we'll sell for the right offer. We'll need to be trailed out. Yeah, $1,500. Uh... He's willing to negotiate, so as long as he's willing to negotiate, do it. Unless somebody is trying to buy it from underneath you uh, with a higher price. But yeah, guys, I would, uh, I'd probably, I would go there with fifteen hundred dollars, maybe sixteen hundred, <laughs> just in case. But anyway, um, I'll go for this, guys. I like this. This is a nice project, and you know what I would do with this? Um, I would, uh, you know, have it. You know, I'd, I'd set up a digest at home. I, I would make my own. Um, my own uh, biodiesel and just run this, you know, um, hey, as a daily driver, you know, that would be awesome. But hey, guys, listen, I'm running out of time. Thanks for joining me. You know, really appreciate your presence. So, hey, if you like, if you dig what's going on, like, share, subscribe. And hey, I'll see you guys soon.